Today we have an exciting and empowering workout session planned for you. We will be exploring the world of side planks, a fantastic exercise that not only challenges your core but also brings a myriad of benefits to your overall fitness. We will also discuss the proper technique for performing the side plank and common errors to avoid. Before we discuss how to do the side plank exercise correctly, let's first talk about why it is an essential part of your workout routine. It is not just about toning your obliques, it provides a range of benefits such as improving balance and stability and strengthening your core. So why should you include side planks in your fitness regimen? Let me explain it to you in simple terms. 1. Core Strength Side planks are excellent for developing core strength, targeting the obliques, transverse abdominis, and lower back, and providing a sturdy foundation for other exercises. 2. Improved Balance and Stability Balancing on one arm engages the stabilizing muscles, enhancing balance and stability. This benefits not only workouts, but also daily activities. 3. Reduced risk of lower back pain. A strong core provides better support for the spine. Side planks relieve lower back pain by promoting a stable and healthy back. 4. Toned waistline. Side planks are a secret weapon for those seeking to shape their waistline. They focus on the love handles and reduce excess fat around the midsection. 5. Enhanced flexibility. Side planks can also enhance flexibility with regular practice increasing your range of motion and bringing more dynamism to your fitness journey. Now that everyone is on board with the incredible benefits of side planks, let's dive into the proper techniques and variations to ensure that you derive maximum benefits from your side plank workouts. I'll guide you through the correct form to ensure that you're doing it correctly. To perform this exercise, start by lying down on your side and ensuring that your elbow is directly beneath your shoulder. Then align your body in a straight line from your head to your heels. Next, raise your hips off the ground so that your body forms a straight line from your head to your heels. Hold this position for as long as you can while keeping your core engaged and your breathing steady. Once you've held the position for a sufficient amount of time, switch to the other side and repeat the exercise. Remember to maintain proper form throughout the exercise to avoid injury and maximize the benefits. Whether you're new to side planks or a pro, we have variations for you. From the classic side plank to elevated versions and dynamic movements, we have everything covered. To maximize effectiveness and prevent injuries, it's crucial to avoid common side plank mistakes. Let's make sure you're doing it right. 1. Allowing hips to drop. Allowing your hips to sag reduces the engagement of core muscles and diminishes the benefits of the exercise. 2. Not holding head and neck in alignment. Failing to maintain proper alignment of the head and neck during a side plank can strain the cervical spine. It is important to keep them aligned. 3. Placing too much pressure on your bottom foot can compromise your stability. Distribute your weight evenly to maintain better balance. 4. Arching the back. It's important to maintain a neutral spine rather than arching the back, which can strain the lumbar region. 5. Resting weight on wrist. It is common to make the mistake of placing too much weight on the wrist while allowing the hips to droop towards the mat. Instead, support the body weight through the forearm and elbow. 6. Lack of abdominal engagement. Failing to engage the abdominal muscles throughout the exercise reduces its effectiveness. It's important to squeeze your abs to properly target the core. There you have it, our comprehensive guide to mastering the side plank. Don't forget to include this powerful exercise in your routine for a strong, stable core and a toned waistline. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more fitness tips, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, keep sweating, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay fit, stay fabulous.